Hello, welcome to Cloud Channel. In this module, we will learn how to bulk loading from Amazon S3 using Copy. How to load this JSON data from Amazon S3 into Snowflake using Copy. In our previous session, we learned how to load CSV files uh, using Copy. Now in this module, we will learn how to load JSON data. And we will do, we will create file format that, that describe our data files and we will create a name stage of objects and load data located in our S3 bucket into Snowflake tables. We will learn all these in this module. I will log into a Snowflake, a Snowflake account using command prompt. I will say snow SQL I find you and my username and I need to enter the account name I entered my account name now I logged into snowflake account and first I create a database in previous module when we are loading CSV files into Snowflake, we did the same steps, uh, created database and created CSV table and created warehouse. So in this module, we will do the same. I will create a database. and database name is database 01 i see database successfully created now i will create a target table the target table is for json data and this table is temporary meaning it persists only for the duration of my session and is not visible to other users let me create a json table temporary json table that holds json data so my JSON table names is just a JSON table. Now table is created. Now I will create a warehouse. To load data into Snowflake, we must need a warehouse. I will create a warehouse now. Okay, let me just delete this. Uh, and just I'll just cancel that. Let me make sure I enter current command. Create or replace warehouse. And here our warehouse name wh01. That means warehouse 01 with small size auto suspend 10 minutes and auto resume true. Initially suspended and I mentioned true. Let's create this warehouse and warehouse successfully created. Now I will show you uh, what kind of data we are loading into Snowflake table. I will show you the example of JSON data. So here is the sample JSON file that we are going to load into JSON table. And this file exists in Amazon S3. So we are copying, we are loading this using copy into Snowflake table. So here we see that customer and then address and we see customer email and company name, everything. So we will load this data into Snowflake table. So far we created database and we created a temporary table that holds JSON data and we created a warehouse to load the data. Now I will create a, a file format. So create a replace file format, JSON format, and type JSON. And if it is a parquet, if it is a CSV, then we can just mention that in the type and strip out the array is true. And file format, the default value is CSV and we changed it to JSON. 
and strip outer arrays instructs the JSON parser to remove the root brackets. That's why we mentioned true. And let me create this file format. Now my JSON file format is successfully created. And then next step, I will create a stage object. An external stage references data files stored in a S3 bucket. So in this case, we are creating a stage that references the sample data files necessary to complete the exercise. And this step is recommended when we plan to load data files regularly from the same source. So now I will just create a stage. So here we can see the command create or replace stage and the name I keep it as a JSON underscore state and the file format is JSON format that we just created before this stage and the URL is snowflake pub public S3 bucket and I mentioned that in the URL. In regular use, if you are creating a stage that pointed your private data file, uh, private data files, you would reference a storage integration created using create storage integration by an account administrator or a role with the global create integration privilege. So let me create this stage. Now stage area, JSON stage successfully created. And the next step, and I need to resume the warehouse. As we discussed, loading data into tables requires a warehouse. If we created a warehouse by instructions, uh, it, we created a warehouse uh, very early that we kept everything. Uh, here, if you see, we created warehouse size, small and auto suspend. So I will just alter this warehouse. I will resume this warehouse. To resume this warehouse, I need to run a command alter warehouse and warehouse name and resume. Just enter this. So now we can see that our warehouse is resume. Now the final step I will do copy into my JSON table that stage data. Copy into JSON table from JSON stage tutorials. This is the file name contacts.json. We are loading this data into JSON table on underscore equals skip file. So let, let me explain what is this on underscore error equals skip file. If the command encounters a data error on any of the records, it skips the file. If we do not specify an on underscore error value, the default is on underscore error is about statement, which aborts the copy command on the first error and counter on any of the records in a file. So that's why we I just mentioned skip file. If it sees any error, it skips the file. So let me execute this. Now I can see the data is successfully loaded into JSON table. And here we can see that first error column name status loaded and rows pass three, rows loaded three, error limit one and first error null and first error line is null. Now let me run the query if, we, if I can see the data. I will run select from this JSON table and just enter. Now we can see the data that we have from in that uh, JSON file. So here we can see all the customer info and everything looks good. And so far in this module, we created database and we created temporary table that holds JSON data. We created a warehouse and I created a file format, JSON file format and mentioned file type is JSON. And I created staged object. And I ran this copy command to load data from that S3 bucket into Snowflake table. And I did the validations, everything looks good. If you have any questions on this loading 
uh, JSON data from Amazon S3 into Snowflake using copy. Please post in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.